the most valuable resource or, or form I found is the Street Fighter Cross Tekken uh, Zeta Boards mod page. But if you Google Street Fighter Cross Tekken mods, um, it's the first link that pops up. So you uh, click that link, and then it'll bring you to this page. And then down at the bottom, they'll have Street Fighter V. Um, and the link to just the Street Fighter V form is right here. Um, so you want to use that link to find all the mods. Oh, another question I got on the last modding video pretty frequently was, can I can I do these mods on my console? And as far as I'm aware, that it's not an option. Not currently, anyway. I mean, it's, it's possible. Um, it'd probably be pretty challenging, though. Okay, so we're here on this forum, um, and they've got it broken down into questions, characters, stages, um, other mods, tutorials, and tools. Uh, miscellaneous. Miscellaneous. Um, we're going to want character mods and stage mods because uh, those are the two that I've used on stream that people are curious about. First we've got character mods. So this is a character mod thread. Uh, a lot of costumes, a lot of colors right now. Um, the ones I currently have installed are Q as in Bison and Armika's tag team partner is Zangief. Uh, uh, and to install those, we need this mod manager. So down at the bottom of the first post, it says right here, the mod manager. So we've already opened that in another tab. Um, and then we've got, and Bison is Q. Boom. Notice that says mod manager compatible. So it's, that's that means it's going to be easy to install. We're going to use the mod manager, just throw it right in there. Um, and then the Armika um, Team Muscle Spirit. So Team Muscle Spirit. For Armika means uh, swaps her partner with Zangief. So we've got all these open. Um, oh, and then stage mods, right? So the night stages, that's what I'm using. Uh, there's, I've also messed around with some training stage mods, but the night stages, uh, I'm definitely going to keep. I like the look of those quite a bit. So open that in another tab as well. Um, okay, so this is the mod manager, uh, and this is the download link. The instructions are pretty straightforward, and it's not a complicated tool to use, but... Uh, hopefully this YouTube video will make it a little bit easier if you were having trouble um, or, or just wanted to speed through it. So you're going to use this link to download it. We've already downloaded it to my desktop, but you can click that link and it'll go ahead and get you the download started. Um, and then we're right into the costume mod. So we need the application. We also need the files. So Team Muscle Spirit, um, this again links us to a download. I've clicked that. Um, and then Q and as in Bison, as in Bison just looks so good. Um, really impressive work here. So I've downloaded this one as well. It's on the desktop. Uh, last but not least, the night stages. These are my favorite. Um, I've downloaded this file. I don't know if it says that this is compatible with Mod Manager. Um, let's see here. Oh, if you get lost, again, most of the links are on page one, so you can go back to the first page. See, in the night stages, it doesn't say they're compatible with Mod Manager, but you can kind of make them work. I'm not sure you how. All right, so now let's bring up... Uh, what we have on the desktop, we're going to unzip the mod manager and it's going to extract right to um, the desktop. So create a folder right here. Boom, got the mod manager extracted. Um, and then I've got team muscle spirit first. So I'm going to extract this one. Um, and I want to put this entire folder inside the mod manager um, folder here. Uh, I want to open up the mod manager folder and I want to open up games because uh, it works for multiple games in Street Fighter 5 um, and then mods obviously and then inside this mod mods folder I'm going to put in Team Muscle Spirit so boom just go ahead and drag and drop that there um, do the rest with do the same with the rest of these files uh, so we've got the Q is in Bison one um, I can drag and drop that folder in here Boom. Pretty straightforward. A lot easier than it was in Street Fighter 4. Um, not that that was super difficult, but this this mod manager is a pretty nifty tool. And the night stages uh, comes in a content folder, um, but it does not doesn't have doesn't have the correct format. So you have to change the format. It's something we have listed here. Um, it has to have mod name and then Street Fighter V and then inside that um, the actual mod exists, right? So for instance, the Team Muscle Spirit is the mod name. Inside that is Street Fighter V. Inside that is content, right? 
Um, so we have the content here. We want to create a couple extra folders. Uh, I'm going to do a new folder here and call it night stages. Boom. Open that. Um, and then another new folder. Uh, and it is street fighter B. It's title case. No spaces. And then I'm going to move the content and the night stages. Cut those. Put them inside the Street Fighter V folder. Paste. And then they should work just fine um, in our mod manager. <clears throat> All right. So now let's go ahead and launch the mod manager. Super handy app. Um, there's the application. Go ahead and run that. Don't need to ask before opening. Um, and we need to change the game. Let's see, how do we do this? Uh, game. There we go. Obviously. Uh, exit menu, no. Game. Switch to Street Fighter V. Um, and then we will... Go to the mod manager portion. Um, we'll look at the mod list and look, it's got our three mods right there. Um, and if you don't see your mods, you hit refresh list. I know it'll have them. So I skipped a step here. Um, skip to step, skip to step. So uh, we, ex we extract the file. Um, we're gonna put the mods inside that folder, which we've already done. Uh, we run the mod manager. Uh, we've changed the game to Street Fighter V. Uh, it did find the install path, um, but we have to read the game archive. Read game archives. And as it says, this is going to take a second, but uh, once it's done, it's done for good. Done permanently. Okay, now we should be able to install. Night stages, boom, installed. Q, boom, installed. Team Muscle Spirit, boom, installed. Then if we go back um, to the mod manager and the menu, we can actually launch Street Fighter from here. So this will save us Look some time. Look at that. He shows up. Obviously, Mika doesn't show up. If it were a costume mod for her, it would show up. But M. Bison shows up as Q. How cool is that? I uh, got some cool colors as well. Rocket <laughs> Still sounds like Bison, but looks great. Uh, model. It's pretty spot on. I didn't play a ton of Third Strike, but as far as I remember, that's perfect. There we go. Our costume mods are installed. Um, our stage is at nighttime. Not only is it at nighttime, it's removed all the background stuff. Um, so it's a little bit faster and cleaner, and you see we've got Zangief as the tag team partner. I'm on keyboard here, and I don't know if I can do her uh, critical art. Let's see. Oh, first try. Look, Zangief tagged him in. Boom. It does more damage when you have Zangief in there. Definitely. Night stages, you have to go through a little bit of uh, work to get the, the China stage working. Um, and even when it works, it removes the gimmicks. So the gimmicks being the bus um, and the noodle shop. And that can be problematic if you're playing online because if you hit your opponent into the bus um, and you don't have a bus on your stage but they have a bus on their stage when the round ends, I think it causes a desync. So I've, I've removed the China stage um, and the New Zealand stage. Uh, I'm not sure what the, what the problem is with the edit, but the light flickers a little bit. Um, and it tends to lag. And I don't think it's just my PC. Other other uh, players have had issues with it. So I, I'm sure they'll find a fix for it. But, but for right now, I've removed the New Zealand and the China stages. Um, and just as a quick as a quick explanation or as a quick demonstration, it's super easy to, to edit that stuff. Um, so we're back in our mod manager folder. Uh, and we want to... Go back to games, Street Fighter V, mods, night stages, Street Fighter V, content, um, maps, so we've got China and New Zealand. So both problematic, so I just have those deleted for now. We Remember, we have them backed up 
um, in the other folder. Um, so when they get fixed, we can reinstall them, or if we find a fix, we can reinstall. And we go up, uh, not just maps in the stage folder. We're going to get rid of New Zealand and China as well. It looks like New Zealand's the only one here, so I'm going to delete that. Um, but other than that, I have nothing but su had nothing but success with these mods, so uh, give it a shot. Let me know if you have questions. A great place for questions. I would recommend you take your questions to the uh, to the forum because they're they're much much uh, smarter, much wiser modders in here than myself. So I would hit them with the questions and discussions. Get in there. But if you if you have suggestions or questions, I'll do my best to get to them in the YouTube video. Uh, description down below questions comments down below um, yeah I appreciate you guys watching this video uh, I plan on doing an update for for other methods for installing mods um, there's definitely more complicated mods there's uh, modding the colors on your own there's a lot of cool things that I want to do in the future so uh, check the YouTube channel make sure you subscribe for more information uh, coming soon thank you so much for watching See you guys live on twitch.tv forward slash A4Andre. Later.